what you want, what you really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, 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 really. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Is that what they even say? I don't know, I didn't listen to the ah! fucking Spice Girls. Shitty hair that needs to be toned. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go. Listen all the way. That was my little rendition of Jingle Bells. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I am in my my own home by myself right now, except my dog's here, but whatever. My son and my husband aren't home, and this is like such a rare occurrence. Like, what could I do with myself? Make videos. What else? You know, I could clean or do something productive, but that ain't gonna happen. Ho, ho, ho. Um, my holiday spirits have been a little crushed this year just because there is some medical stuff going on with my mom. My mom's a transplant recipient and she found out uh, a couple of weeks ago that she actually has some kind of growth on her uh, native kidneys. So the ones that are in her back, because when they transplant a kidney, they usually put it in the front. So now her new kidney is in the front, actually, directly connected to her bladder, which is <laughs> just so weird if you think about it. But anyway, um, she had been feeling some like discomfort in her chest or her sternum area, and she went to the doctor and they did a sonogram and it was this whole big thing and she found out that she has like this eight inch like mass on her kidney and so I haven't been so much in the um, holiday spirit as I normally am because usually people just want to like punch me in the face because I'm like it's Christmas I'm usually like such a holly jolly idiot so, so this year I'm just like you know I'm just keeping it kind of simple so also go along with that maybe I have like a little anxiety issue where like shopping is my Xanax I, sh I tend to shop when I'm upset I want to do a quick review um, and show you guys some of the stuff I got you guys could get an idea of what kind of like style I have and yada yada yada. First thing I got, this wasn't yesterday, last night I went to the mall and to Ulta and it was just bad news for my wallet. And one of the things I wanted to do always was to try an eyeshadow palette from B&H Cosmetics. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. They're, they're an online company and they are based out in California and um, if you're familiar with Coastal Scents, then I'm sure you probably heard of B&H because they're like kind of in the same realm, I guess you could say. Uh, very affordable makeup, really good for people who are just kind of getting started out and, you know, maybe a um, new makeup artist or somebody who's still in like some kind of makeup art school. I don't know. And good for the average person too. I mean, if you just love makeup, the average makeup lover. You know, if you want to like experiment with colors and stuff like that and before you go spending money on like Urban Decay and MAC, um, it's good to look at these kind of cheaper websites like B&H because they have things that are, all, you know, more affordable but good quality too. So, um, one of the things I got was the Carly Bible palette. It's like completely white. Holy crap. Do you guys see it at all? Well, anyway, it's the Carly Bible palette. Just take my word for it. I paid around $12 for it. I don't know if it's that was the normal price. I think it might have been on sale because I ordered it on Thanksgiving. It seems like every time I order things, it just takes forever to come to my house. I have no patience. I've been following Carly Bible for years. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's really good at makeup arts. I love her YouTube channel. She's one of the people that I probably watch the most besides Emily Noel 83 Beauty Broadcast. She's the bomb. So Carly Bible, she's like... Like one of the original girls that I started following on YouTube. I was like, I have to get her palette. I think it's limited edition. I'm not 100% sure, so don't mark my word on that. So this is the palette right here. If you guys can see, I'm sorry because I am doing this on my phone. It comes with 10 eyeshadows and four, I don't know, highlight colors. That's what she calls them. I gotta just comment on this. I don't know if this is every palette. It has like this weird smell, not a bad smell. and. Well, maybe it's bad to some people. I have like a thing with like weird smells. Like I love the way like markers smell and like gas. Like these things, did you ever smell these markers? Oh, it's like delicious. It's, I'm a huffer, I guess. This one has like a weird packaging smell, but it's not even like a bad one. It just smells like packaging. Does that make any sense? I kind of like it and, and that's because I'm a fucking weirdo. Like I said, it comes with 10 eyeshadows and those four highlight colors at the bottom. Um, this top row is pretty much all matte except for this uh, kind of pink color here which actually really reminds me of Sin from the Naked palette. There we go. Better lighting situation. So that, that color right there on the top, it is a pinkish kind of 
you know, kind of like peachy toned pink color. Um, and then these are all matte. This one, I, I mean, you guys know me. If you've been watching my channel, I love vanillas. The bottom row is pretty much all shimmer except for this like nice cool tone dark brown. And then you got this bottom row, which she said is for highlights, but you could use them for, for eyeshadows too if you want. These two colors right here are the colors that personally I would use as a highlight because I'm pale as a ghost and I look like Casper and like I just crawled out of a coffin somewhere but um these two I don't really think they would work for highlights for me but they're really you know really nice really nice color highlights I think she did a good job this one's kind of got like a more I don't know I want to say gold tone to it it's very similar to the eyeshadow that I just swatched for you guys in fact and that was something that I found in this palette that kind of bothered me but not to the extent where I'm gonna say it's a bad palette you got a lot of colors that are very similar to one another um, that happens especially if you're ordering from B&H and you're getting those big palettes that have like you know 88 colors in them they get a lot of colors that just kind of appear very similar so I did find that like these two colors are almost identical look how close those are you know, I don't know. I would just like something with a little more variation. So that that's the one, I guess, negative about this palette. But for the most part, I think it's a really good palette, especially for $12. Like, how could you go wrong when you get 10 eyeshadows and 4 highlights? I would have rather seen, instead of these two things, I would have rather seen like a matte, you know, contouring color or something like that. Or a matte bronzer, but that's just me personally, you know. But um, the formula is a little kind of flaky but not bad not a bad formula it's just a little you know when you put your brush in there it, it falls apart but you know what some of my favorite shadows do that like the Lorac Pro palette I don't know if you guys could see what's going on you see how it's kind of like flaking out all over um but it doesn't come off flaky on the eyes if that makes sense they're a little dry especially the matte ones the um shimmer colors are really nice really you know shimmery and and a little more creamy I guess you could say in texture than the than the matte ones um but still they're all really good shadows all really workable these are the colors that i always like see her using on her channel and i think it's just a really nice little kind of neutral palette so i give it two thumbs up carly bible you did a good job you go girl so let's just move on next thing i got was um i really wanted to hate this stuff because it's it's christmas and i'm such a selfish asshole I should be shopping for other people and what do I do? I go out last night and I'm like, ooh, Merry Christmas me. I gotta buy myself Christmas presents. I deserve them. I'm a good mom and wife all year long. I'm not the best wife sometimes because I'm not really that clean in the house and organized, but I'm a good mom. You guys ever do this? You ever buy something that's expensive that like you're like, oh, I hope I hate this so I could return it and get my money back? Well, this didn't happen in this case. And it, the thing I got was the Too Faced born this way foundation i love Too faced uh and i love especially like the amount of thought that goes into like naming their products and their packaging and stuff like that that's just from because i'm a graphic artist and i always have to comment on the graphical aspect of makeup so i don't really want to go too far into this because the, today's the first day i'm using it so i guess it's like a first impression um i love it i'm screwed i love it so now i have to keep it all right i am the color ivory typically i wouldn't go for an ivory color but this in this case it worked it matched me when i first put it on it still might be a little too light for my skin tone but still really good what is good about this foundation i will tell you guys to me if you're getting more of just than just coverage or there if there's some other kind of benefit coming out of the products that you buy then it makes it more worth it to me you know it makes it a better investment it contains coconut water which i really don't know it says it replenishes your moisture level we'll just take your word for it alpine rose to brighten skin's appearance and promote elasticity and then hyaluronic acid that was the one ingredient that got me pumped um if you guys don't know what hyaluronic acid is and i don't know if i'm like even pronouncing that right uh basically it's the stuff that they use in botox to fill your wrinkles in um but it's something that our body i think produces and it's something that makes our skin plump and um makes it look moisturized and fresh and stuff like that so to see it in a foundation i was really excited about that there's a couple of ingredients that if you're older you know over the age of 30 you should definitely be using and hyaluronic acid is one of them along with like retinol and ceramides and all that stuff i 
pumped it out. It's a little kind of yellowy. It looked very yellow. This is one of those um, foundations that kind of changes its appearance, like the color when you start to blend it out. If you guys know what I'm talking about, um, I'm just putting a little dot. A little bit goes a very long way on this stuff. Um, and it blends out really nicely. Could you see it a little bit? It blends out really, really, really nicely. Um, and it does leave a really natural finish on the skin. They claim it's like a full coverage, medium to full coverage. I guess it is. I mean, I know that I have some marks now because once again, I was messing with my skin. And it, you know, it, did, it took a couple of like layers, I guess you could say, to or coats to cover it. I would say medium coverage. I wouldn't say like full, full coverage. Like if you're used to the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is not going to be full coverage. This is not that full of full coverage if you got, you know, but it's like right there. It's right on the cusp of full coverage. So I like that. I like the way it blends. I like the way it wears. It's matte, but it's like very natural looking. So they weren't kidding with the born this way. My complaint is that they don't have that big of a color selection. And from what I've heard from other people who've re reviewed this product is that it runs a little bit dark, but so far I only use it been on my face for about an hour. I'm really liking the way it looks. Um, I really like the way it blended out and I really just, I liked it. So now I'm gonna have to freaking keep it and I don't get my like 40 something dollars back, which sucks ass, but it's also awesome at the same time. It's like five hours later, I would say. And I think my foundation still looks fabulous. Okay, next thing I bought, um, of course, because they were having a buy one, get one 50% off sale at Ulta on NYX. And I, I just like, anytime I see that, I just force myself to buy a NYX item. I got this um, because I wanted to try their contouring palette. They didn't have it at the Ulta that I go to. So I bought this. This is the HD finishing powder. I think it's a new product of theirs. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I wanted a yellow kind of highlighting powder. Um, you guys might think I'm crazy, but my Anastasia, Asia uh, contour palette has been I don't know clogging my pores I stopped using it to see if that was the culprit because I started getting a lot of really clogged pores on my face and it was like not a pretty sight I never really got clogged pores until I started using that so I figured it has to be that and since I've stopped using it my pores haven't been getting clogged but I'm still trying to clear up some of the old ones. This is such a long story. You guys don't give a shit. So I was looking for a new highlighting powder. I love my Morphe palette. If you guys didn't know that already. Um, but I wanted another setting powder. I just want to try another one. So uh, this one is named Banana, just like the one in the Anastasia palette. Really nice. It's yellowy. I don't know if you guys, if that's coming off, but it's just got a slight yellow. So it's probably almost a dead on dupe for the Anastasia palette. In fact, let's see if it is. Uh, you guys aren't even going to be able to see that. Um, the Anastasia one's a little tiny bit like darker yellow, but they're both still yellow. I know it's not coming off good on my phone. So it's got a tiny slight yellow tint. If you're familiar with the Ben Nye Banana Powder, um, it's probably around the same tone, probably even still lighter. But I used it today. I, so far so good. I mean, I didn't, you know, like I said, I just used it. So I don't want to go that much into it, but so far I really like it. Doesn't look too heavy. Doesn't look too powdery. I don't notice it, you know, setting into like lines or anything. I think this was about seven, maybe $9. I'm not even sure. I'm so bad with prices. Um, the other thing I got, this is kind of funny. I kept buying this NYX eyebrow gel, which I actually really like. If you guys have never tried this stuff, it's amazing. Um, I kept buying it and thinking that I was getting a shade lighter because now that I have this like blonde colored hair, I was like, maybe I should lighten my eyebrows a little bit. I'm trying to go a shade lighter and I kept buying the same one over and over. So finally I bought the, um, lighter one which is chocolate so this one's one shade lighter than than the one I already own so um I tried that today I, to be honest with you guys I can't really see that much of a difference in the shade um maybe a little bit this one's just a little more like red like auburn brown and I have a very ashy just black eyebrows hair so I think I might just stick with this one but this one's a little more red so if you have more red tones in your hair and your eyebrows hairs and I found a white eyebrow hair. I, I have a Christmas party this weekend with my in-laws. Um, and so I needed something to wear. And I like to dress like a little more conservative when I'm around them. You know, like my family, I'll, I'll dress like a whore. I don't care. But, you know, my in-laws, I like to dress like a little more conservatively. But still have style. 
So I went into Forever 21. I was specifically, because of my stupid blonde hair, I feel like the only colors that look good on me right now is like gray, black, and this green color. And that's pretty much it. So even like white, like and I love wearing like winter white and it, it just doesn't look right. I have to tone my hair too. I went into Forever 21 and I'm starting like, I'm 34 years old. I'm going to be 35 in March, uh, March 5th. So I'm like, I'm starting to get like where I'm walking into like, forever 21 places like that and I'm like wow like I feel old in here like I feel like I shouldn't maybe be shopping in here anymore this is what goes through my brain while I'm in there I'm like it is called forever 21 so you know technically you could shop there forever right I felt like a little old some of the things I look at like I'm like oh I'd love to wear that if I was like 10 years younger I specifically just wanted like a kind of cheap outfit to wear for Christmas it's, like huge when I was in 10th grade to wear these like ribbed like shirts like this is what the style was so I had to buy this black it's just a black plain black dress long sleeves, like a T-length, um, let me stand up here, you can still can't see it, but it's a long, uh, black, you know, ribbed, uh, T-length kind of dress, I thought this is really cute, um, I'm gonna pair it with these boots that I actually got from Target for $13, it's like, can you go wrong, I'm usually not big on, like, pointy toe kind of things, but I thought these were cute for $13, like, you just can't go wrong, maybe wearing black stockings, but, like, very, very sheer black stockings, or maybe even getting, like, a funky color, like, green or something, I don't know, so anyway, I, they had a huge sale section at Forever 21, and this is, like, my most exciting, like, item ever, you guys are probably gonna I think it's the ugliest thing and that's fine but I liked it I am obsessed with like like flannel because I always loved flannel when I was in like sixth grade flannel was the thing like the thing like it was when the Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg videos first came out like it was the thing it was huge that's what everybody wore was flannel and that's when I got into rap music and I'm a huge huge rap fan so old school 90s only so anyway, well, early 2000s. You're like, how freaking cute is this jacket? It's really long. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I'm wearing sweatpants. Yes, I'm wearing sweatpants. But I don't know. At first, I tried it on, and I was like, eh. But I had my high, my high boots on. I had these Vince Camuto, my camel colored boots on with this and I just thought it looked really super cute together I don't know I just love it it's like so comfortable so warm it's very big very oversized but still just really comfortable and really warm and it's got a hood yo this one I saved for last <laughs> it's kind of funny this one's my favorite of all that I purchased um, I went up, I went up to the girl at the, like, register, she was cracking up, because I was like, I'm not even really sure what this is, but I love it, and I'm just buying it, and you guys are probably gonna be like, ew, that is so hideous, and it kind of is, but I kind of love it, it's more about function than it is about the appearance, or whatever, I, I guess it's a scarf, I don't know, is, is this a scarf to you guys, like, look, what kind of effing scarf is this big, but all I can tell you guys is it was at H&M and it was $10, okay? It was $10 and I picked it up off the shelf and I just wrapped it around myself like this and I was like, hello, we need to be, like live together. I don't really know, like I guess you could kind of wear it a bunch of different, it could kind of be like one of those poncho things or you could kind of wrap it around. I had like a pleathery kind of jacket on and I wrapped this around myself, like around my jacket and I was like, oh my God, I've never felt this toast in my life and it just kind of feels like you're carrying around like a throw blanket with you and who doesn't want to do that I was like I have to get this because like I unfortunately am a smoker and I sit outside on my porch and I'm like I don't know I like to even when I'm not smoking I just like to be outside like my mom thinks I'm a psycho because I sit outside like year round like even in the winter I just love sitting outside on my porch like my porch is my haven like my little peaceful place that I like to sit it's my little oasis this is something that's nice to like wrap around me while I'm out there freezing my ass off looking at my phone that was basically it you guys I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on some new Christmas gifts I got myself would you guys get yourself because please don't like make me be the only selfish asshole out there uh one more announcement for you guys I uh <clears throat> I've been a little bad at like making videos we like I told you guys at the beginning I have some stuff going on with my mom please pray for her that she's just has a a, a mess and it's not cancer please um, the other reason why I haven't really been making videos is because I've been spending a lot of time, I'm talking like dedicating so much time that I went three days last week without showering, TMI I know, but I've been dedicating a lot of time into 
um, opening my Etsy shop. I opened up an Etsy shop because I am a graphic designer. That's what I did for a living before I had my son and became a stay at home mom. Right now I started off doing only like bridal related invitations. So I just have just 10 because that's my starting amount. I'm putting a lot of time into each design because it's like I could take as much time as I want. I have no deadline. So I got into that. So if you guys want to check it out, it is, I am friendly invitations. Of course I will put a link below. So that's it. That's it. So I have to go now because I've been rambling to myself for 43 minutes. I could talk forever. My fourth grade teacher called me Chatterbox. That was my name. So that just goes to tell you guys. Okay. Anyway, gotta go.